thanks to the Hillbilly Gypsies for that introduction. And today, uh, you can see I'm hewing. Uh, this is a oak log. It's some kind of red oak. I got it out of a log pile from where they cleared. Um, I'm hewing on the ground, and hewing on the ground is harder on your back. First I ever heard of Sawyer's props was from the book A Museum of Early American Tools by Eric Sloan. Uh, in that book, Sloan had a drawing of two square pieces of wood joined as a T with a square mortise and tenon. And it was a real simple thing and got me thinking I could probably find that already growing somewhere and and I did. My Sawyer props are cut from a fallen maple limb. Both from the same limb. Um, probably can see that the smaller limb grew almost at a 90 degree angle from the larger limb and uh, making the perfect natural Sawyer's prop. Mine are cut from a limb about as big around as my forearm. I've taken the Sawyer props to the woods with me here. Um, I'm going to saw. That is the name of them, Sawyer's props. I have a cross cut, single man cross cut, and um, saw a piece of that. You won't be able to run down to your local big box hardware store and find Sawyer's props. But they're a simple device and fairly easy to find in our natural environment. Go out in the woods and find you a suitable fallen limb and just make three cuts and you're done. Best to leave the uh, protruding limb a little longer than the main limb. So the, uh, the leg of your T would be a little longer than the top of your T. That's a little bird taking a little break. When it all gets short, I need a little bit of weight to hold it down, and that's what she's got, a little bit of weight. Got to save one. This is the Hillbilly Gypsies with Get Up Bonaparte.